lost my wife uh, in 1993 uh, in a bomb in Belfast uh, carried out by the IRA. I mean, I knew what it was likely to live at the very cold face of, of, of violence and of conflict. Well, as one of the people that was around the table in 1998 when the Good Friday Agreement was agreed, I know it was blood, sweat and tears. I work with people every day who, uh, whose loved ones were murdered and they, they never got their day in court. There wasn't any, uh, you know, investigation. Uh, where there was an investigation, it, 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 it had a brick wall. And the fact that we have the Human Rights Act in place um, basically means that there's, there's, there's a route now open for them to try and make sure that, uh, that their, their loved one's murder is not forgotten about. We would never have contemplated that the Human Rights Act would have been in jeopardy at any stage. It was a building block of our agreement. To take that away from Northern Ireland is just absolutely shocking and it's a huge fear um, in terms of the, the hard-won peace that was fought for uh, during the Good Friday Agreement that the people now are going to start um, tampering uh, with decisions that were made in that agreement and I, I think we should all be very frightened of that.